punishing a child for something they've done wrong does very, very little for the child, aside from instilling fear into them. Does very, very little. Dealing like one of the one of the things my boys often say to me was <laughs> my boys got to the point where they said to me they would rather get a smack from mum than have a sit down with dad. <laughs> Because in the end, what happened was, emotionally, they, they felt like they, they felt the pain of their choices when they sat down and we discussed them all from God's perspective. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And mum didn't do that with them. So they felt, yeah, they, they felt a strong, you know, they, they felt that every time they sat down to discuss something with dad, there was going to be some emotions arise and there was going to be some processing happen, happening. And they realised that that was, a, that was the most powerful effect. And for that same reason, when they were with their mum, they were totally out of control. <laughs> and when they were with myself, generally they were well-mannered and in control. Uh, but it was just because of the different ways in which we dealt with the situations that occurred. Uh, and I certainly didn't deal with them perfectly. There were, there were times when I certainly did it in disharmony with love. Right? But when you look at the way God works, all of those laws are so perfect. Right? All of those laws are so so governed towards cause. Mm -hmm. And every single you know every single spirit you talk to in the spirit world, in the first sphere, and the other spheres, all of them are all like they're there because of the causes within themselves that cause them to be placed there. They're not there for some indeterminate reason. They're not there unjustly either. They're there because of the laws that have imposed the pen it, their penalties on their own soul. And God didn't have to do any of it because he already just set it all up in the beginning. He didn't have to write down in his little black book. So God doesn't write down in his little black book. I think in the Bible it says that God has a book of life and a book of judgment. In the Old Testament. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and that's not true, obviously, right? Because God doesn't need one. <laughs> we saw that in Bruce Almighty, just the paper. Of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he was answering the emails. <laughs> yeah. Lots of paperwork, lots of folders. Yeah. yeah obviously, that concept of God's. Yeah. Not quite exactly what it is. 